Greetings, welcome to another edition. Today I'm back out metal detecting and I've got a guest. It's Nathaniel Outdoors. Um, Hello everyone. Another YouTuber. That's three or four I'll, I'll be meeting in the next few weeks. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to bring bring him onto some pasture, some nice scenic pasture fields and see what we can find today. But uh, yeah, look up his channel, Nathaniel Outdoors. Another good one, another good friend. And we're going to see what we can do today. Thanks very much, guys. See you later. There's Nathaniel over there. My first find. <laughs> Belting signal. What is it? Well, it's some sort of lead cube with a hole through it and some strange markings on it. Very, very peculiar. I will clean that up another time because I'm too cold. Moving on. There's Nathaniel. I finally had a coin. Well, I hope it's a coin. 84. It's definitely a rim in there. Ooh. Oh God, it's a little, it's a little decimal half penny look. Well, a coin's a coin, isn't it? He's had a 50p and a Edward the seventh penny, I believe. This is a target I'm definitely fond of. It's deep, it's faint, 92, 91. Of course it could be a 1p, but you never know. Just there. Still in the hole, which is good. Well, in fact, I've just bent down to look into the hole and look at that. We've got a silver coin on its edge just there. This is a early Victoria, but it could be George III. It's very thin. It's a Bunhead Victoria. Ah, it's lovely. I've not had one of these in a long time. Beautiful little silver sixpence. The date is 1881. Cool, I'll do a little close up for you. There we have it, 1881. Sterling silver sixpence. Queen Victoria, Bunhead. That's a great little coin, I'm happy with that. I think I might have brushed it with my spade, but yeah, we'll take that. Solid 74. My guess, old 10 pence piece. And it is an old 10 pence piece. Banging 74. So you're looking at 1970s there, probably. Uh, can't see the date. But yeah, cool. Another coin. This one's not bad. An old quid if I'm lucky. Solid 88. It's in here somewhere. No, screw it. They are the bane of my life on these permissions. But well, they give such good signals. Listen to that. Even from six, eight inches away. 
absolute Almost certain I've got a coin ball here. 92. It's really difficult to film today, it's so sunny. Oh God, it's a modern one pence. Just had to be, didn't it? Never mind, it's still a coin. That takes me to four or five. Cool. Well, this is my next find. Don't know what it is. It could just be nothing, but I'm sure it's something. Um, I have no further comments on that. Anyone might know what that is or was. Leave me a comment. My God, it's cold today. Nothing exciting. It's another decimal half penny. Great little signals they are. Very sweet, high pitched 91. Got to dig those all day. Yet another decimal half penny. That's the third one of these I've had today. Well, in amongst all these beautiful leaves, I had a solid 94. I thought it was going to be a two pence piece, so I didn't record it. Look at that, I've got a big thick mystery coin. I'd say that's William III. The only reason I brought Nathaniel down to this part was to do our intro. I've been all over this field, done it to death, especially around this tree. I just had that big coin over there. Another signal here, solid 84, and look at that, we've got a big old penny. With a number like that, I'd expect this to be Queen Victoria. Could be Edward, but judging by the colour, it's going to be Queen Victoria. Ah, oh, look at that, beautiful. Queen Victoria Vale head. Big old penny. I'm gonna give that a clean up and I'll come back to you. It's so difficult to film today, but as you can see, Queen Victoria veil head, flip her over. See the date, 1899. It's in nice condition as well. Beautiful, really happy with that. We're following the footpath, looking for some fresh drops. Picked up a signal here. Listen to that, that's on the surface. 93, could be bottle top, could be a 2p. It's there. Is it a 2p? Yeah, it's a 1p. Bloody modern 1p on the surface. Right on the footpath, banging 74. Thought it was going to be a ring pull, but no, it's going to be a big old 10 pence. Like the other one. It's been there a while. It's almost pink, but yeah. Cool. Well, look at that. It's an old 5 pence. Duffed it with my spade. But I don't mind because it's only an old five pence. But it's another, it's another coin to go with my old ten bees. We're heading back to the car now for a bite to eat. Been and had some lunch and we've headed to the next field it's really sunny really bright and uh, first signal had a bit of aluminium was about to walk away and then there was something on the surface it had also come out the same hole just lying there it is a sixpence of the non-silver variety it's in very good condition 1956 next up 91, 92. Unfortunately, ye old favourite. Just sat in the, sat there, look. Crusty, horrible, threepenny bit. P. 
pink, brown, scabby, 1938 is that? I don't know. Next up, another ropey mid-tones, it was low 70s, and again it's another non-silver sixpence, 1950. There's definitely going to be some more silver sixpences in this field somewhere. Getting a little bit cold. I like this. 91. I reckon it's going to be a threatening bit. Flipping threatening bit. I just know it. It's in the clod somewhere. There. It's going to be a threatening bit. I just know it. Oh, that's looking like a big penny. And look, it's me boy, George V. First one of those of the day. Big fat, George V, big penny. 1936. From memory, there was about 156 million of those minted. Well, that was a right socking signal. Big fat, solid 94. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe a Roman steel yard weight. We've got a round big blob of lead with an iron core. I would love to know people's thoughts if that's potentially a Roman steel yard weight. Because I'd love it if it was. Leave a comment, let me know. Well, we're losing sunlight. I had a nice deep 88 and it's in there somewhere. Right there. The soil is grey. Let's have a little silver. Oh, you absolute animal. It's another one of them little decimal half pennies to add, my, to add to my collection. I've got at least six now. Well, that's it. Me and Nathaniel are done for the day. Um, it's been really good. Lots and lots of modern coins and a few pre-decimals, a few crusty bits and pieces. I did have that lovely silver Victoria sixpence. Um, I'm not sure what have you found today. Coins. Coins. And more coins. More coins. So yeah, we're, we're going to work our way back to the car, so you never know, we might find something on the way, but uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed your day in the Derbyshire very Dales. Much, very grateful to you. Um, yeah, it's been a pleasure to have Nathaniel over here. He'll be going back to Switzerland next week sometime, yeah. but uh, yeah, make sure you check out his channel. Uh, there'll be a link in my uh, description as usual. So yeah, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya. There are people out there who've been sending me money via PayPal and I'm so, so grateful. Uh, it's been so useful to me. So if, if anyone else wants to support the channel, you can go to my homepage and click here, buy me a coffee. Any money that comes in this way will go straight back into the channel, whether it's for recording equipment, t-shirts, other stuff like that. I'm so, so grateful for, for everybody's support. So thank you and we'll see you on the next one.